Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the NASDAQ Stock Exchange. As we know, this is UN General Assembly Week, and we have a very exciting group here to close the market with us today, led by the President, K K excuse me, President Kikwete of Tanzania. At this time, I would like to introduce to the stage the Vice President of NASDAQ Stock Exchange, Mr. David Wicks. Thank you, Jamil, and good afternoon, everyone. I am very pleased to welcome His Excellency Yakaya Marisho Kikwete, President of the United Republic of Tanzania. Let me also extend a warm welcome to all the First Ladies who have joined us and all the global health leaders to NASDAQ. I'd also like to recognize and welcome the Diplomatic Courier Magazine and International Development Strategies who gathered this group here with us today. We are excited that you could all join us right here from the crossroads of the world in Times Square, New York, as we get set to officially ring the NASDAQ closing bell. Now, President, I hope you'll agree with me. I think there's a lot that we all can be thankful for. And I'd like to start today's ceremony with a round of applause. Now, we're here today to highlight the health challenges, but also the opportunity for women and girls worldwide, and to honor His Excellency, Yakaya Marisho Kikwete, President. Kikwete is not just the leader of his country, but he is also a leader of an important initiative. When the UN Secretary General launched a $40 billion plan called Every Woman, Every Child to scale up women and children's health services, President Kikwete was appointed the co-chair of the Accountability Commission, which would help the plan's implementation. His appointment came as no surprise and is a testament to President Kikwete's leadership on these issues. He is a role model and a leader among other leaders on the global stage when it comes to improving the health of women in his country and the continent. President Kikwete, we are honored to have you here to ring today's closing bell. And now I'd ask you all to please join me in welcoming His Excellency, Yakaya Marisho Kikwete, President of the Re United Republic of Tanzania. So President Kikwete, uh, to honor your role today and to commemorate today's closing bell, I would like to present you with this closing bell crystal. Congratulations. President, distinguished first ladies, thank you for the invitation and thank you for associating me with this historic event. Thank you for the award I dedicate it to the many women whose lives we are trying to save in Tanzania and on the African continent. I commend NASDAQ for your interests, involvement, and involvement in maternal health. This is a daunting challenge for humanity at our time, which we must succeed because failure is not an option. It means more mothers dying for causes which can be prevented. According to WHO, every minute that goes by, somewhere around the world, a woman dies of pregnancy and childbirth-related causes. This means up to 1,400 women are dying each day. Unfortunately, 98% of these happen to be in Africa. This criminality reminds us of the enormity of the challenge we face and the urgency for us to take action to stop and reduce maternal death. We have no time to waste. We must act now. After all, 
it is not fair for a woman to die for giving life to another human being. Childbirth is supposed to be a moment of joy and celebration and not a time of grief and mourning. I'm confident that with concerted efforts, the world can stop maternal death in Africa and other developing countries. What needs to be done, fortunately, is known and the world has enough resources, has the skills and knowledge, and the world has the technology to do that. African countries alone cannot do much because they don't have adequate resources, skills, and technology. We need partners from the developed countries to join hands with us and support us in this fight. We need partners from the governments, multilateral institutions, civil society organization and the corporate world. We are so happy that NASDAQ has taken the right decision at the right time. On behalf of the people of Tanzania and the people of Africa, I thank you so much. We deeply appreciate this gesture of solidarity. It will surely go a long way towards saving many lives of innocent mothers who would otherwise have died. I thank you.